what's going on YouTube this is Arctic Fox welcome back to the channel today guys man we got a disturbing case out of Clayton County Georgia you know a child advocacy center is the last place that you would expect sex crimes against children to occur however that seems to be exactly what has happened here a 25 year old son of the executive director of a child advocacy center was charged with several sex crimes against children and the Clayton County Police Department say he engaged in inappropriate sexual conduct with at least one child while employed at the center. The mother of 25-year-old Caleb Randolph and other employees are also being charged as parties in the criminal case. Clayton County Police are alleging the 25-year-old son of the executive director of Rainbow House Incorporated in Jonesboro engaged in inappropriate sexual conduct with at least one child and accused that the director and another employee helped cover up the activities in the case. Police held a press conference Friday at 1 p.m. and said that Randolph faces the following charges, child molestation, statutory rape, sexual assault by a supervisor, and sexual assault by a volunteer. The, par the department added that two more children have since come forward with allegations against Randolph, making it three in total, and police say they expect more to come forward they say that this is one of the worst cases that they have seen involving crimes against children in their little community. In a release on Thursday, they said that they had been tipped off to sexual misconduct possibly occurring at the Rainbow House, and that's what prompted the arrest. In the immediate aftermath of the allegation, the department uh, said that the center's executive director, Mia Kimber, and another employee identified as Monica Jones both had direct knowledge of the misconduct and failed to report it to law enforcement officials. Instead, Clayton County Police alleged that the two failed to take coercive or corrective actions and instead engaged in a cover-up scheme. Another employee was identified on Friday who is facing a, re a charge of not reporting child abuse. The result was the victim was removed from the facility based on false allegations. Randolph, meanwhile, was fired, but then rehired after a week and a half. He has since been actively employed with Rainbow House Incorporated, where he had been allowed to interact with juveniles at the facility until his arrest on March the 16th. Wow, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. The investigation is ongoing, and additional arrests may be forthcoming as detectives continue to investigate the misconduct of the employees according to a police statement. Wow, this is... This is nuts, guys. The one place that you would expect for, for children to be safe, a child advocacy center of all places, and this is the type of conduct that's not only taking place there, but covered up by the director of the center. I just don't even know where to begin on this one, guys. But I hope that this man spends a good deal of time in prison. He should never get out, in my opinion. And it's not clear if he has any type of bond or bail set that's not included in the little information that I have here. But I hope <coughs> that if he does have a bond or bail, that it is a significantly high bond or bail. Because all too often in these cases, we see people getting little $25,000 bonds when it should be millions of dollars or they shouldn't even have bail or bond at all. But yeah, another crazy case, guys. Um, prayers for those children that are involved and the parents as well. And so, yeah, just keep everyone involved in this case as far as the victims and their families and your thoughts and in your prayers. And, I don't know guys, I don't even know how to end this one, but certainly thank you for tuning in and watching. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, share it out to your social media. People need to be aware that this type of stuff happens even in the smallest of communities. And I will see y'all in the next video.